So, so, so first off, uh, we won a trophy. A dick. That's awesome. A golden yeah, dick. Won a giant golden cock. So I just want to go on record at any future um, anime conventions that I am at personally because uh, the, the dick is coming to me uh, and, and I will bring it to any anime convention I go to. Not nice if, wording there. It, it is my dick, motherfucker. <laughs> it is our dick, thank you very okay, much. Okay, sorry. It, it, is, it is our dick, but I'm the one that will be holding the shaft. You can have that. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> But uh, anyone, anyone who is at any of our uh, conventions that that we are at and wants to get a dicking picture, by all means, let us know. <laughs> I love that this is now a photo, uh, uh, like a photo op kind of thing that we're stuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, are you doing? So, are you doing any close conventions? Because I really want to go to one. Uh, uh, you'll have to tell me what close is after this. Yeah. So, like, which one are you going to next? I don't know. Don't know. Ah, <laughs> well, no when you know, you let me know. Okay, because I mean, right. I definitely want to get, I definitely want to get a picture of Akatsuki with the golden dick. Oh, well, <laughs> like, 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 and then like, st- like if we can get Greg there too, the golden dick, and then just staring at Greg, like, yeah, you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's no, no. Greg is holding the golden dick, and, and Lennon's holding the rope. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Like, and he's just got, like, the most concerned look on his face. <laughs> I, I think we're supposed to be thanking people or something. Is that, is that what we're I mean, recording? I don't know. Golden dicks are I everywhere. Think judge, I think judging from the amount of laughter that we're doing, they're going to have a lot of laughter as well, just listening to this. But, yeah. Uh, so, first and foremost, the people that we really want to thank, uh, m- m- number one, all the people that – viewed this entry and liked our entry and voted for our entry very importantly uh thank you guys so much because you are the reason that this happened like yes we put in a lot of work on it and you know we voted for ourselves as well but i mean we weren't really expecting to win the this this particular award so i mean uh, Jesus, the fact that we did yeah. is just awesome it's it's kind of it's kind of incredible like i mean just if you really think about it um, the, the, the other contenders, um, Jojo, uh, fuck, oh, ha- uh, ha- Soul- Haku oh. and, and Soul Hunter, um, you know, all, all great, uh, you know, some of them, you know, not, not my cup of tea, but hey, that's whatever, right, and comedy is, exactly, yes. yes, and the, it's just, like, it just came to such kind of a shock to us that, that we won this, considering who we were going up against and their following. It just blows yeah. our mind. It's been, it's been interesting, too, because um, I've never really been a part of, like, a project that kind of went this big, you know? Like, this is the first time I've yeah. been a part of a video project that acquired roughly, like, what, 200,000 views in, like, what, a little over a month or something? Like that's uh, pretty cool. I, I think we're, uh, we're just breaking the 200,000 view, and it's been up for... Just under three months, I want to say. Yeah, so this, I mean, even yeah, though I feel like there. in the grand scheme, I provided kind of like a small role for this as the voice of Natsuki, it's still kind of cool to be like a part of something that like did this well, um, at least it's, in terms of like views and the attention it got. So uh, that's pretty cool. Earlier this afternoon, I was talking to uh, Yamato SFX, and that was one of the things I brought up was basically, you know, we'd seen so many people that were in like the five, ten thousand mark. And there were so many different entries that were out there. So that's basically the number that we figured we might be around. And as soon as we passed, like, 10, and then it hit 15 and 20 and 25, like, at that point, we were just surprised that it was getting that much attention. So when we broke 100K... Dude, we fucking were, Richie was losing his shit, man. Yeah. I was. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God. Like, it was such a huge... It was such a huge, um, like validation of all the hard work that we'd put into it. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, there was, I mean, there was definitely an ego boost that was going on in there. Oh, sure, sure. But, uh, but no, the fact that so many people liked it and um, the fact that so many people really thought so well of it and, Jesus, judging from some of the comments that have been showing up on our video and other videos, uh, whether it's our YouTube channel or the TFS pages that they have for it, they've still got our backs, and apparently in hardcore way. Yeah. But, um, but I mean, you know, none of this would have come together as well as it did without all the people that worked on it. So, 
Uh, I definitely want to go ahead and say a huge, huge shout out to Danny, uh, RS Gaming 1996. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, I, think, and I think he played the most important role too, because like in terms yeah, of like what yeah, HBI and uh, fucking most important. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh no, yeah. I mean, in terms of like <laughs> in terms of like what HBI. He was our and, amazing um, editor. Yeah. Yeah, RS Games 1999. Sorry, 99, not 96. Yeah. But really quickly, guys, if you want to go and and like tell him how wonderful of a job that he did, he did just make a Twitter account. So at RSGA19, that is him on Twitter. Go follow him. Go go check out his page. He's actually put out like three tweets since making it, and of course I'm stalking him, so I've liked and retweeted several. Uh, but that, that is the person that you, that has worked the hardest and very tirelessly on this whole endeavor, even to the point that, like, he became uh, physically ill at one point. He became physically ill at one point. That's why there was a delay in putting the episode up on YouTube, even though we did turn it into T, uh, into Team Four Star for the Tiba entry in yeah, time. Yeah, and I feel like he was also, and I, I'm glad, I mean, I guess he went through a lot to get the episode done. I didn't know about yeah. him getting sick, but, uh, but I guess he also kind of got the most praise from uh, from TFS, too, from the judges, like, uh, uh, relative to all of us, too. Because, like, one of the things that was most praised by them, if I recall, was, like, the production was how it all kind of came together. And that's, like, Danny's role, you know? I think... And and I heard that from more than just two of the judges. Like, in the video, they said it was the two judges. It was HBI2K and Taka. Yeah, yeah. But also, we heard that from, ya- uh, from Yamato, and he was saying, dude, everybody was talking about the editing quality, so... Nice. Think, that's fun. I mean, I, I just want to, like thank everyone too um because this has been like a huge roller coaster ride for me and this is again like the first project that i've actually been like seriously involved and like donna said like it's just been blowing up and i've never really received so much like you know like the comments are just so nice and (laughs) i love the people in the comments because they give us so much support and (laughs) i think i really want um to thank um the obviously the cast and the crew especially Danny of course because um he is just yeah he's fantastic editing like I have never seen like I've been in projects before where the editing has been you know so so and then when they showed us or when he like we showed like six six pics of like you know episode one when before we put it you know um to team four star or to just the opening alone yeah just like the opening opening. alone was phenomenal and i was like this is going to explode like in in a good way like the editing was just like fast paced perfect on point everything like moved smoothly the lip flapping was fantastic like i just it was probably it's the best i've ever seen and i'm so thankful and blessed to be a part of it and i'm so blessed to be like obviously kicking zana's butt i mean come on now <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> yeah. you know, that's, that's something for, it was so it was the violence against me that's really motivating you, so, you know, just... <laughs> I mean that in a good way in a character way in a character way because if I have to say Natsuku was oh my god I was yeah dying. Natsuku was a horrible human being I agree yeah. that and I voiced oh, the fuck no, 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 are you okay, kidding hold up hold up see now Natsuku is lovable we, we, okay, we need to clear something up I, think, I feel like there's a lot of misconception between our three characters here Natsuku Natsuku is not a terrible person. He is the goof. He is the lovable idiot. Shiro's the asshole. Yeah. And Akatsuki is the fucking get good win factor. <laughs> that 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 the that the team with the, with needs the secret, to with the survive. Secret side of like the, the <laughs> secret side of flirtation that she just yeah, Akatsuki, secretly. Akatsuki is the Akatsuki is basically the amalgamation of both the Dark Souls and the Bloodborne uh, friend, uh, fan bases combined. It's just, that's... Yeah. With, a, with a Yandere? With the, like, with, the the exception, like, with the exception that she is just straight out awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, no, um, I think all the characters are awesome. I... Yeah. Again, well, we meant, we meant we in clicked, physical combat. I think we, we meant clicked really well combat. together, too. Like, especially... Because I never... I've never... This is, like, my first time talking with Zana, so I'm kind of like, oh, <laughs> my gosh, oh. it's fun. <laughs> because I've never met... You know, I've never oh, talked about him. I'm flattered you think I'm worth feeling that way around. Thank you. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. Anywho, but yeah. No, I'm just saying like... I when... wish a Kosky senpai would notice me. We needed to have this call so badly. Yes, we did. <laughs> no, but I just have to say, like... I, I wish 
everybody <laughs> clicks. Everybody is so like. I mean, even I've watched it hundreds of times, and the yeah. fact that we work so well, our voices work so well together. We're we joke a lot. We like you know discuss what we need to be do- doing and whatnot, and like it just works. And I love the comments that say that our voices actually work so well with the characters because I was really scared that my voice wouldn't. There was a comment um, on the on the Tiba on the uh, Tiba page about the uh, the voices. Um, let me let me go and find it real quick. And while, but while please he's, continue. While he's doing that real quick. For our fans coming to our defense about us not making the top thirty, while we do really do, we really appreciate that you feel that strongly about it. You, you, please let up on on some of the snark, uh, you guys. Some of you are being kind of mean. Um, yeah, do stop slamming on the judges, guys. We 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 appreciate it. We, yeah. I mean, we appreciate you coming to defend our honor, and seriously, it, it means a lot to us. But I mean, guys, come on, but without the thing wouldn't be a thing. Right. Sure. Yeah. I mean, in fact, in fact, I'm on, I'm on the bets. The majority of you guys coming to our defense wouldn't even know about us if not for the Tiba competition. Do I wish we placed sure. higher? Absolutely. fucking lutely But you know what? Hey, we got where we got, and you know what? Uh, at first, that was a little salty about the trophy, but now I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad right. that you're going to get a golden dick in your mailbox. <laughs> Why were you oh ever God, disappointed? So I'm just saying, why were you ever disappointed about receiving a giant golden cock? Where was the disappointment? <laughs> like, I just... All right, hold on, hold on. All right, that's all right, that's better comment. than any other fucking trophy you could I, possibly... I love, I love this comment, and I just want to read it off and share it with okay. you and the rest of our audience. Super Unhappy Man, which is just a beautiful name, by the way. <laughs> Posted yesterday, this is one of those abridged series that seems like it could just be a really good dub where the English dubbers put in jokes like, for real, this was really well done. I'm like, there are so many people that are like, hey, the abridged thing, uh, it, you guys sound a lot like the, uh, the, the, the dub cast, and then now we've got people saying, this sounds like the dub cast. Uh, if they, you know, this sounds like what the dubcast would have done if they wanted to make jokes while dubbing, and I'm like, that's a huge compliment, you know, and we love that. It, it kind of is like Ghost Stories, the anime. <laughs> 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 it was literally like they were handed they were handed this anime, and they're like, it did poorly in Japan. You can still dub it, but you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> Nice. All right. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is really gonna make. This is really gonna make Tony smile. I'm willing to bet that fuck you. Avi boosted the amount of votes we got. It probably did. <laughs> you know the funny thing is that the funny thing is that like I put it on private after like for like a day after we got announced as the 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 winner of the fuck you uh, judges award. But then I'm like you know after watching the 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 commentary a couple of times I'm like you know what no fucking Taka the voice of Cell literally endorsed us. No, this no, and, so and actually, I kind of wanted to. And that was really cool too. Um, I'm like, dude, I want to tag Taka in there, but he took a break from social media. I was totally gonna tag him on Twitter and be like, "Well, I mean, even though we posted this three weeks ago, this is kind of what it sounded like to us at the end." Yeah. <laughs> well, good for you. Uh, <laughs> and I really, I really appreciate what Taka said too, because I, I don't know, I kind of respect the sort of objectivity with which he, because he, I mean, he said he even voted for us, and um, oh, I don't he, know. The fact, he, he apparently he got so much shit for for well, back. Well, his, well the thing is too, he said like, like even if he didn't necessarily think of us as like the the funniest entry necessarily, or even the best voice acted, or the fact that maybe he wasn't personally entertained by us, or at least not as entertained by us as he as he was maybe with other entries, he still decided to vote for us because he felt like we were the best put together parody and I I think I just think it's kind of cool like I said I kind of respect that sort of object or at least the effort to sort of be objective in his in his vote so I mean it's pretty cool pro- man professional criticism and also and also him saying well and also him like offering to possibly do a voice role in the future is like oh the God. icing on the fucking yeah, cake no, dude, it, it, it takes so it takes excited. balls it takes balls to back the underdog on the internet publicly. I don't know. Are we we're the underdog if we're like the most popular? Thing? No, dude. I, think, I, no, we're, I we're not of, the underdog. I would say we're, we're the, underdog. the underdog. Yeah. We're not the underdog. Because we did kind of win the popularity contest in a way, at least from like the, the from an audience. At least in terms of community, guys. So. Guys, we're not the underdog. We're the fat dog. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Love it. Put <laughs> the name right into that shit. Yeah. Roll credit. He <laughs> said it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Be not choked up. That's... <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So anyways, I guess what is uh, what else is there to say? Um, I don't know. Uh, there's just it's just an, an an endless stream of thank yous right now. Yeah, yeah I guess yeah. so. So we already covered Danny's awesome. Um, we covered Taco was awesome. Uh, people are awesome for voting for us. Uh, what else? You guys are awesome. Everybody is awesome. That is. Are there any other awesome people? We should. Well, um, so on, on a side, on another, on a quick side note here. Uh, so, sorry to cut you guys off. Um, to uh, you know, uh, to to all of our naysayers, fuck you. We got a golden dick. <laughs> yeah. And not just fuck right. you. Fuck you specifically with the golden dick. Yeah, I will dick you. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my <laughs> we're not just saying fuck you in, like, a vague oh kind of, like, God. oh, fuck you sense. Like, we're literally going to fuck you with a giant <laughs> golden penis. And it's high <laughs> quality, oh, as Team Lord. Four Star specified. <laughs> we're going to fuck you with, not, it's not just some cheap-ass, you know, synthetic golden cock. Like, this is a legit, like, quality material golden cock that's going inside of whatever orifice we decide to violate in the near future. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. you, everyone. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got we got one more person coming in. Oh, is this the, is this Henrietta's first introduction? I love it. This is Henrietta's first introduction. Yes, hey, Henrietta! Henrietta. Uh, we have Henrietta and Marielle in the same room. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I love the amount of enthusiasm. But yeah, um, we uh. By the way, happy oh, birthday, man. Henrietta. Thanks. Late happy, happy birthday, birthday to Henrietta. Birthday. Yeah, it's gonna be Henrietta now. <laughs> Forever and ever Forever. and ever. The the true sin the true sundere of Long Horizon. <laughs> um, so yeah, but this we we're just thanking people for for voting for us and getting us the uh, the judges award. I mean, it's literally the audience choice award. I I had to describe it to a couple of people who didn't understand what was going on. Um, basically, it's like it's the People's Choice Award and the Oscars. We didn't win the Oscar, but we got the People's Choice Award. So, <laughs> you know, actually, we, we we were joking around that if they kept holding TIBA contests, we would get the fuck the audience or we would get the fuck the judges award every year, becoming the Leonardo DiCaprio of the award. <laughs> <laughs> we are Leo. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. And eventually, and then eventually, we will get our Oscar. <laughs> and like, we'll become the meme. Give Fat Dog an Oscar. <laughs> but that third time, you think you're gonna get it, but you just get a golden dick again. <laughs> and, then, and then we get, no, you guys, you guys. And then we get up to the stadium, and then Tony's gonna take the award, and he's gonna start crying. He's like, you like him. You really, really like him. Happy birthday, Mr. Takahata. <laughs> oh, we will be so retarded if we were up there like that. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, serious, I'm seriously looking forward to the time where we can all yeah. actually get a group photo with this golden dick. That will be awesome. Like, oh, um, and I, my goal, my goal is eventually to have a picture with all of the Team Four cards, yeah, four star cast at some point holding the yeah. golden deck. Team Four cards. <laughs> Team Four cards. <laughs> all right. Uh, one last thing, I definitely wanted to update people on. I know that we kind of promised it would be around this time that episode two would be out, but it has been delayed a bit due to school. Uh, well, not just school, but also the fact that after. Uh, after talking with uh, Yamato SFX and actually getting some uh, constructive criticism on uh, some of the writing and uh, things that we can improve on, I am I'm not changing the script because we've already recorded most of it. I'm Thank just you, adding, I'm, I'm adding a couple yep. more things to it that will provide a bit more context for uh, once these things were pointed out to me, I went back and I re looked and I looked over the script again, and I was like, okay, there's a couple of glaring holes in here that we probably should have taken care of. So we're just we're gonna add like a scene or two to kind of fill in some uh, you know some stuff plot that needs to, yeah plot holes basically. Uh, and so yeah, that's that's why it's going to be delayed. It's not gonna take very long for me to do that, but then there's all of the editing to go through. And guys, we appreciate so much not just your support, but also the fact that you that so many of you are willing to uh, step up and want to voice for this as well. And we we greatly appreciate that. But I mean, we have a lateral backlog. 
We have a backlog of people. <laughs> a literal backlog. Like, not even joking. And, between and between as, Richie uh, and I, we probably have at least, like, 40 people that we can call on that, not, like, it's just absurd. Not to mention not to mention that we ended up finding someone uh, someone just out of the blue yesterday. Like, one of, uh, one of my roommates that's living here with us came in and hung out with us on a Skype call last night and just started doing voices, and he had us rolling for an hour. It was unbelievable. So, I mean, we, and, and even he's like, we're like, even though you're good, we've got a list, you know? So it's one of those Get things. in line. Get in line. <laughs> uh, like, I mean, shit, even, even Taka and, and HBI2K, they're going to have to audition. We're not just going to hand them a roll, despite who they are. That's true. Everyone's got to go uh, through the process. Everyone has to audition. Everyone has to audition, and I'm not kidding. Episode two, uh, there were so many. There were a bunch of like new characters and like minor role things, like uh, Thief A or whatever. Thief one through but, four. No, uh, three. My bad. My my favorite one is still as far as like names. My favorite one is still Honest Thug. Who who's I, who was voicing him? That was Chrono, right? I think so. Yeah, Chrono's uh, got Honest but, Thug. And we've got so we'll have a couple of pickups and stuff, so that will take us a little bit. But um, but yeah, it will be out this month. I will say that. Oh, absolutely. It will be out this month. Yeah, and uh, one, as soon as it's out, I'm going to start scripting episode three. But I'm looking to improve the quality of my writing and the quality of my jokes. So I will probably have like we're going to be a lot harsher on the script than we were for episode one because we have a lot more time yeah, to no work deadline. on. Deadline. So, oh man. So, yeah. I think the no deadline thing is going to make things a lot uh, crazier. Also, a lot less uh, crazier. A, a, a lot, yeah, a lot less crazier. Also, uh, Danny has already sat down with me and said that episode three, or uh, he, he's he stated that episode three, he wants it to be fifteen minutes long. So it's going to be a long episode. Oh, and I'm just like, okay, all right. no, I'm like, I'm all like right. the editor straight out asked me that, and I'm like, you do realize you're going to be doing the majority of the work on that one. Like, we can only do so much. It's all in your court. And he's like, I want to do it, and I'm like, okay. Uh, we, so we, yeah, we can cheer you on condescendingly. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or. You know, we can cheer you on with actual affection. It doesn't necessarily have ah, to be. Ah, but you gotta mix it up because if you get too <laughs> sweet on him, then he starts to expect it. You gotta, you right. gotta get the kind of bittersweet thing going on. So, so it's since we have her here, <laughs> since we have her here, she hasn't really said much. Henrietta, would you like to say something? Oh, also, to the please, fact? please introduce yourself. Actually, your, your YouTube name and. Uh, okay, so it's late for me, and I technically didn't get home until like an hour ago. So, uh. Hi, my YouTube name is La La Laida. Don't I don't expect you to memorize that. Or remember that it's a lot of laws and it's a lot of lays and it's a lot of nothing going on on there right now. But <laughs> um, I voice Henrietta, and honestly, I can't even remember what her voice is. I know it's Compass <laughs> and it's Compass, and I don't really remember. But I know she has orange hair, and I liked her when I watched the show a while ago. Um, <laughs> So for and, those of you yeah. who voted, thank you so much. Um, I thought it was pretty good what we submitted, and especially like looking at everything else, it was really nice to know that something that I was voicing like was able to make it, even if it wasn't completely didn't completely make it, but it got so far is really nice. And then for those of you who didn't, fuck you, but also it's okay because I understand there's other things that you like more, and that's understandable. And you want to borrow my dick? <laughs> <laughs> Not going anywhere for a while. Anyways, so thank you. Even if you didn't vote, thank you for at least taking the time to look at it and actually mm-hmm. give your honest opinion because that's what matters. Yeah. And and again, um, just to just to throw this out there, I know that you had a very short scene in episode one in that that the other scene that you have more dialogue in got cut out. Yeah. That scene is going to be in episode two as a flashback. So we're not scrapping that scene. We just found a new way to incorporate. I know. I'm yeah. good. Oh, no, I'm letting, I'm letting the audience know uh, so they have something to look yeah. forward to. It's like, hey, you mean something that didn't make in episode one? It's going to be in episode two. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. yeah for those of you, uh, in case, you know, her name doesn't really ring any bells, uh, she, she actually voices Urza for the Das Tales. She, she's our... Uh, are crazy redheaded? I don't even know how to follow that up. She's crazy. She's redheaded. She's a dominatrix. Who? Yeah, there it is. 
Yeah, who is very afraid of actually being on the receiving end due to certain... She's the one I feel the worst for, because, like, she does the edits for that show, and I have left her so many creepy messages in my recording. Yeah, at this point, I just kind of use them. I'm just like, I always cover my face, and you just go, why? And I'm just like, really, <laughs> this, is, this is what my life is. This is what my life is now. Let's be because it's Mr. Him. J. It's what he does. I was, was going to say, hey. you better not say you're desensitized, because Richie's going to take that as a challenge. No, I am not. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying low my life has gone. I, no, no, hey, I'm just saying, look at it this way. I didn't go full on, like, sending you horrible gifts uh, and stuff, like bullets or dead animals or whatever, like uh, Jared Leto did. So all I did was record voice and stuff that was... A little creepy. I didn't. I didn't send like terrible gifts here. Anyway, so we're rambling. Thank you guys. Yeah. Uh, you, so, just, well. you just now realized that we were rambling. <laughs> we were rambling so, this entire one, time. One thing I just realized we forgot. We forgot introductions. So you know what? we're going to do the outroductions. So uh, you know what we'll start. We'll start with the fan favorite. Oh, that would be Zeta, right? Yeah, that would be a costume. Well, well, is it? Oh no, I was going to say no. It can't be me. You are the fan favorite. Yes. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I would I would also argue you're probably the cast favorite. What? Just saying. Yeah. Just guys, seriously. <laughs> um, I'm Lennon Drake, and I play Akatsuki and Mariel. Uh, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll move to Lassie real quick. Just one more quick outro. Uh, Henrietta, orange hair, glasses, uh, <laughs> like. Really small, cute things, and apparently wants to molest Tchaikovsky. So there, there you go. Fun, fun shit. Fun shit. Fun, so. fun facts about Henrietta. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! I did that wrong. Fun facts about the Henrietta. Oh, this is how she do. <laughs> this is how the Henrietta do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on, on to the uh, everyone's favorite goof. <laughs> oh yay! Yeah, um, I guess uh, I'm Zana Uzmaki, voice now to go. So. He gets anvils thrown at him. <laughs> and on to everyone's, everyone's... That was really nice to watch. That was nice to watch my horrible character get hit. <laughs> I, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not your fault now to do as a terrible human being. It's not, you know... It's not, not a terrible human being! <laughs> God! Get that through your head! I'm just saying, he just he unironically says swag, man. I don't... <laughs> oh my God. I'm just saying... Okay. Can I just say something really quick? My mom <laughs> died when you were like, uh, it's the line where you're like, rage, something rage, about rage. bitches and stuff. And I'm just and rage rage goes, oh, no, no, no. She goes, she goes, he's like, this isn't, uh, this is, this is sound. Because I got that mad swag, you can get more bitches than you have that, a cheat. Yeah. Yeah. That and the one where you're talking about South Bronx and Akihabara. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then and then Shira goes like, "You are Japanese." Like my mom rolled, and like I'm just like, "How would you laugh at this?" Like I would never picture my mother laughing. And she just she loved you. She was laughing at all your jokes. Well, thank you. On thank that you. specific <laughs> joke, I wanted to make sure that it was pr- as accurate as possible. So I have a friend who lives in New York, and I literally asked him. I go, "Dude, okay, I can't tell you why, but straight out." What is the most likely place in New York City that you would get stabbed in? <laughs> you get from? Like, here, here okay. at Fat Dog Studios, we like to make sure everything's as real as possible. Prime example: Xana likes to method act when he was masturbating for oh, his Jesus life. Christ. <laughs> okay, now you've already, already opened, you've already opened the door. We were supposed to be doing outros, but fuck it. No, okay. So now I have to <laughs> explain what they're fucking talking about. Okay. No, because there's, there's a scene. I am jerking off as Natsugu, right, in the scene, and Natsugu is in a call and also simultaneously masturbating, so I figured I would get into the role by doing a little hand motion, you know? I didn't whip out my penis, there was I no don't... touching the yeah. dick, there was none of that, but there was some hand motions going on, and, uh, you know, I, I hope I hope that translated into a decent delivery, um, if, if it did, good. I, feel so, I think I it feel worked so. best in the bloopers when you were talking about, like, the, the shake wave. Yeah. The shake <laughs> Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, is they heard that out of context... So, just in case Tim Moon was confused, yes, he was making the hand motions, and it, yes, it was glorious. I feel like, okay, I feel so innocent, because the first time I watched it, like, without doing the bloopers or anything, this was before the bloopers were done and whatnot, I seriously thought he was, like, waking up from, like, bed or something. <laughs> <laughs> totally! So then I watched it again, and was like, oh, my God! <laughs> oh, I understand! 
Yeah, it's, it's a lot worse in context, yes. <laughs> This is one of those situations Sorry. where context does not make sense. Alrighty, Sorry. I guess on to I, I guess on to everyone's favorite overlord. I was gonna say on to everyone's monotone sociopath. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm a sociopath in many <laughs> different ways. So. All right. So, uh, well, hello, Akatsuki. Uh, but yeah. Um. So, uh, hi, I'm Richie Roberts. I am Menu Sama as well as the writer for Log Horizon Abridged. So, uh, if you don't like, if you think that Xana is a horrible human being, that's totally my fault. Uh, <laughs> well, not Xana, no, not Xana. Yeah, yeah. The important, no, important person. distinction there. Very important yeah. distinction. I mean, Xana is a horrible person, but that's Xana's a different story. Jesus Christ, Tony, <laughs> not now. Not like this. <laughs> I didn't want to bring these conflicts to the forefront for the internet to see, you bastard! <laughs> If you want actual living proof that Zen is a horrible human being, you can check out his oh, other Jack's series. series. Oh, so Link. good. Yes. He's so good. He's not a horrible person, and his videos are so funny. Go check him out. Thanks. They are. They really are. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I will be improving upon my writing to make uh, any, any episodes following this uh, even better. This was our first attempt at doing this series, and considering how internal a lot of the series is, it can be a bit of a chore to try and turn it into an abridged, but uh, we can only do better from here because this is this is the starting point. So that's how it's going to go. So thank you so much to everybody. Uh, we love you. Enjoyed. And finally, let's turn it over to Director Sama. Yeah, I don't even know what I do. What? Uh, I mean, huh? Uh, hi, <laughs> that's Tony. I'm the director. <laughs> I voice a thug and uh, one of the upcoming uh, characters in episode three. So. I was I was going to be that guy and be like, he doesn't know what he does. Uh, I don't know what I do. You own the channel. That's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I own the channel. I orchestrated the group, and I'm also kind of a co-writer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, hey, everything everything's happy. I got a golden hey. You know what? I got a golden ticket. I don't oh know. My God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I got a golden penis, but I got a golden penis, and that's the end. All right.